Welcome Gridiron fans into a special MVL edition of Gridiron Glory. I'm Anthony Bacco, joined alongside Josh Rogers to talk a little bit of MVL football. And it's now week four and we have a few teams distancing themselves from the others. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. We've got Sheridan, Maysville, and Tri-Valley all undefeated to no one's surprise so far. Their offenses can put points on the board and their defenses are effective as well. They haven't had to play the top tier in the MVL yet, so we'll see how that all plays out in a few weeks. And we've seen John Glenn, a playoff team from last year, take a slow start this year and they lost a few key players to graduation. But what does this team have to do to make it back to the top? Well, they have Philo coming up this week, and it could be their turnaround week. Their offense must find a rhythm if they're going to remain competitive in the NBL. And Josh, another team that can get a kickstart this week is West Muskingum, who plays Crooksville this week. The last game West M won was against Morgan back in 2011, but this year they have been able to keep up with those tough NBL teams. And John Glenn couldn't put up a point against Sheridan this past week, but West M scored 13 on the Generals, the only point Sheridan has given up all year. Both Crooksville and West Ham have struggled on the defensive side of the ball, so this game will be won offensively. And Josh, obviously there is still a lot of competition left in this league and some big matchups coming up. Now, what are your top three games to look out for? Yeah, well, this is a deep league, Anthony. I really want to see how the top of the MVL shapes out. When we have Tri-Valley, Sheridan, and Maysville all meet up in week six, eight, and nine, those are going to be the games to look out for. Yeah, yeah, you know, I figured you picked those games, but there are, they aren't the only big games in this conference. Um, you know, if you had to pick another three, what would those be? Uh, in Week 7, Philo will travel to Sheridan, and Philo hasn't produced as well offensively as maybe they could this year, so that will be a big test for them for a chance to knock down a top team in the league. Um, in Week 9, there's also John Glenn at Newlex. Now, this is still five weeks away, but Newlex has put up 110 points so far this year offensively, and Tommy Russell has been a big part of that, averaging 113 yards on the ground, adding three touchdowns to his resume. And finally, the Week 10 matchup of Morgan and West End. Both teams will meet up then, and there's a chance neither of them has a win. And if that is the case, that will be an intense game with both teams looking for their first win of the season. Well, Josh, we'll certainly look forward to those games throughout the season. And Gridiron fans, you can look forward to Gridiron on Friday night. But until then, you can check us out on the web at woub.org slash sports slash gridiron for conference updates and game previews. You can reach us on Twitter at Gridiron Glory or on Facebook at Gridiron Glory to see where we are headed and when. And that's all we have for you tonight. I'm Anthony Baco sitting alongside Josh Rogers reminding you there's nothing better than Friday nights in Gridiron Glory.